Our guest has traveled around the world in search of unique and top quality tea ingredients for his products. He founded an outfit called Tea Squared, and he just released a matcha latte mix that he says is growing in popularity. We're joined now by Frank Weber, president at Tea Squared. Great to see you. Good to see you again. Thanks and, for having me back. And just to remind the viewers, you're, you're, you sell tea products, value-added tea products, uh, but you're also a distributor of all kinds of tea. Yes, we, we specialize in loose-leaf teas primarily. That's mm -hmm. the bulk of our business. But uh, we've also branched out in some, some other angles of, of, that, uh, um, of that subject meaning uh, making uh, high quality loose leaf um, loose leaf brewed iced teas as well as matcha and we've seen a huge growth in popularity with matcha now due to its tremendous health benefits as well so that's what led us to okay. uh, create the new matcha matcha uh, line <laughs> of uh, latte mixes let me try and I'm sure I'll make a mess of this do we have some matcha in this bowl yeah we do so it's white pow it's it's green powdery stuff and that's the famous tea that's used in the Japanese tea ceremony. That's very correct, absolutely. The, the, the matcha was originally brought to Japan by Buddhist monks in the 8th century from China, which was experimenting with all different types mm -hmm. of teas. And it became very integral to Japanese culture. It's woven its way through, uh, way through Zen Buddhism. And uh, the Japanese tea ceremony was created out of that. And uh, now it's really going through a, let's say, revival. Mm -hmm. Maybe not so, because it's really not that well known over here yet. But um, it, it, it is known for its tremendous health benefits. Yeah. And is there a different way in which matcha is grown? Yeah, matcha is grown differently than any other tea. So it's a shade-grown tea. And what that means is um, a green tea is created first. So in the plantation, it starts already in the plantation. The, 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 the plants are covered with black curtains a couple of weeks before the harvest. Mm -hmm. That starves the plants for, for light. It sends the plant into shock, if you so will. Um, increases the chlorophyll content. And now the plant is pushing much harder to get all these nutrients into the young shoots for them to survive and growth mm. and that's what we harvest it's then made into a green tea then deveined sifted and then after that stone ground it takes about an hour to make a little bag of matcha like that on the granite grinding stone so very labor intensive very high quality product so the stuff here with the buddha in front is uh, pure matcha that's the real stuff that's correct yes that's w pure what would uh, what would that retail for roughly um, uh, it retails um, we we, we retails for around about $19 now and that compares favorably matcha you usually see for around about $25 in, in that sizing yeah what's the market like for matcha you say it's exploding people are interested it is amazing I mean we uh, we just launched uh, the pure matcha in shoppers drug mart and um, they've been doing very very well with it uh, you can also find some of these matcha products um, at uh, Bed Bath and Beyond mm -hmm. and uh, Whole Foods is starting to list some we have a, uh, a couple of stores uh, Beanwise and uh, Heartland Town Center that carries about 60 of our products 60 teas plus all the matchas and latte mixes as well so. now you also have some mixes here um, some of them have kind of whimsical names um, I, I like decadent chocolate chai uh, with matcha in there That's well we correct. wanted to ask you the, the sh we see sugar is listed as yeah. the number one ingredient so these aren't necessarily these are fun they're not necessarily health products well you know no, you're right. I mean, but, but it is twofold. The sugar is listed number one ingredients, but because matcha is so potent, we actually use very little sugar. So it's only about five grams. Mm -hmm. So five grams uh, for a serving is really not much at all. And what these are meant to be, you, 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 I mean, you hit the nail right on there. It's They are matcha, but they are more, a bit more of a fun approach. Sure. Many yeah. people don't like the taste of matcha. It's very vegetative, green, tastes very healthy. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Um, so the latte mixes are basically a, a, a chai latte. Like you'd go to your your, your coffee shop and order a matcha latte and we've created six different flavors with vanilla and ginger and chai spices the naughty cocoa latte has dark chocolate matcha and a bit of cayenne so it kind of warms you up on the way down it's really nice it's interesting um i starbucks i know you're not probably not going to comment much on a competitor but starbucks has tivana yes but apparently they pulled back on plans to open separate tivana bars it looks like they they've given up on plans to do for coffee what they did for tea what they did for coffee well, I can't speak to the strategies yeah. of Starbucks. I'm sure they're doing quite well. And just the, the, the mere fact that they bought Tivana and, and really embraced it in their stores and have done so much more with tea, I mean, shows the growth potential. The last time I was here, we talked about where the industry was going. And I'd mentioned that two years ago, Agrifoods Canada predicted a 20% increase, sorry, a 40% increase by 2020 in loose leaf, premium loose leaf teas. Mm -hmm. We're halfway through now, and we're seeing that this is holding true. 
It's going to be hard, though, to win the public over to loose leaf teas because they are more of a hassle, marginally more than the ah, tea bag. That is your heritage now, isn't it? <laughs> that is your heritage speaking. Actually, I don't think so. 87% of millennials are tea drinkers. Um, and um, we have seen we have seen a tremendous uh, increase in loose leaf tea through all the education that was provided by tea uh, store chains, loose leaf tea shops, uh, uh, David's, uh, Tivana, mm -hmm. and so forth. And um, it is becoming, you know, people are understanding that it's really not that difficult. All you need is an infuser and, and you have a much better product. And throw it into the garden, throw the leaves into the garden when Absolutely. you're done. Absolutely. Yeah, yes, yeah, they, they love it. Um, so w just tell us, you go all over the world. What's the most exotic place that you go to trying to find tea? Um, well, I mean, uh, you know, my, my travels have taken me to some places. I think um, I, I went through, I went all through China last year. That was, uh, was quite amazing. It's one of those countries that has, it's, it's, I mean, there's technology on one side, tremendous growth, cities being, you know, exploding. Uh, and, uh, and then on the other side, on the other hand, you have these pristine, beautiful landscapes with, with tea plants that have been growing there for hundreds of mm -hmm. years and, and mountain streams that you can just drink out of. So it's, um, it, that was really interesting. We went all the way into the birthplace of tea in southern Yunnan, just lots of Laos, into the jungles where the tea trees grow wild. And so oh. for me as a, you know, as a, uh, as a, as a tea connoisseur, drinker, addict, uh, it, it, was, it was quite amazing to, to really go to the farmers and, and, and experience the tea, have lunches with them at their, at their, you know, at their family houses. And so it was a very rewarding experience and I'm thankful to, to be able to do that. Does a higher Canadian dollar make life difficult for you? Sure. I mean, the, 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 I mean, when we started about uh, five years ago, the, the dollar was one on one. So, I mean, it basically it just eats at the profit. So uh, the lower our dollar goes, the, the Canadian higher the, dollar. Yes, because everything from if we buy from, well, Jap Japan, we trade in yen. But if we buy from China, we trade in U.S. dollars. So yeah. that certainly has an effect on everything. Plus, a lot of the packaging is also traded in U.S. We kind of forget Korea has a very rich uh, tea tradition. They have their own uh, tea ceremony. Don't hear that much about teas from Korea, though. That's true. They do grow some tea. They have some really nice green teas. They're not as popular as Chinese or, or Japanese teas, or maybe not as widely exported because they don't have that much of an export. The quantities aren't that high. They're very similar to the Japanese teas in terms of flavor and how they're made. And um, the, yeah, so it, it's a bit modeled after that. Always fun talking to you, Frank. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Frank Weber, president at T-School.